Next name is Buzz Sawyer. I worked with Buzz some, and I, as a talent, I loved Buzz. He was really good. As a person, not so much. <laughs> but uh, he got a lot of money from uh, Terry Allen, I think it was. Magnum? Yeah. Uh, I think that's when Magnum told me he uh, uh, paid $25,000 to be trained. And Buzz took the money and ran or whatever. Jeez. But such is life. Uh, but anyway, I never had no problems with Buzz. He was a great athlete and a great worker. And Ole Anderson loved him to death. Mm. And usually what, what Ole, what I pretty much agreed with everything what Ole said. Now, when, 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 when say, oh, no, well, he said the Undertaker wasn't going to draw a dime. Well, he wasn't going to draw a dime as, as that character. But only Vince McMahon could have the vision to create the Undertaker. You know what I mean? Uh, Ole did stuff the hard way, the old way. But Ole, years ago, at one time, he was booking Charlotte that ran three towns a night, and he was booking Atlanta. He was doing it all. And Ole, he could sit there and be bullshit, and he could tell you six or seven things wrong this guy did. And, and Ole, the only problem was he wouldn't lie to you. If you were lazy and fat, he'd tell you you're lazy and fat. If he said you knew to do this in your matches, I I just want you to do it the way I want to. If not, I'll get somebody else the will. Because, excuse me, you do what your boss says in anything. You got to make the boss happy. You're getting a check. Something I've never asked before, just speaking of checks there, was how good a payoff man was Oli? Uh... When we was in championship Georgia, wrestling from Georgia, it was horrible. Oh, really? Yeah, because he took that money that Vince bought him out when he took the time slot or whatever and was basically bankrolling it on that. But a, a lot of the TVs that he had had, we was on that. They put us on that shitty 7 o'clock in the morning time slot on Atlanta. And we had DiBiase. We had, we had some good talent, but all of a sudden, and in the other markets, we still ended up would go would be going on tour and stuff, but but it used to be all them tours w was good. Uh, uh, anything in Pennsylvania, Michigan, uh, uh, Ohio, West Virginia, they were just big time crowds. And when we lost, we got that shitty slot on uh, TBS. It just knocked business in half. Mm -hmm. One time I said, "Oli, you're supposed to pay us today. When am I going to get my check?" He says. Uh, a couple of days we're going on tour and then we'll have cash. <laughs> I said, in other words, you ain't paying us cause you ain't got it. He said, yeah. I said, okay. I just wanted an answer. So, so that's okay. So, uh, and when I was with, I was working for Ron Fuller. Ole called me on the phone. He said, uh, uh, Bob Armstrong just called me. He said, the road warriors are going to the AWA. They want to wrestle there because that's where, where they were from and be working in their home territory. He said, can you come in and work with this guy called Ted Oates? I want to make you the Hollywood blondes. And I said, well, they just had Jerry Brown as a Hollywood blonde with Buddy Roberts, right? So then, but I said, oh, sure, that's fine. He says, I want to give you, tra make you transition tag team. Can you do that? I said, yeah, we didn't talk money or anything i was just looking at the exposure a chance to do something else so me and ted oates were uh, national tag team champions for a while and then later on i broke off and worked a big angle a long program with tommy rich and then crockett brought in and as soon as dusty come in i was gone so i went down and worked for wahoo so things just happen in wrestling where were you during uh black saturday and that whole process of the briscoes and everyone else selling their shares to Vince? we were we were on tour oh wait a minute no no i was thinking of the thing when uh uh john stossel got slapped that wasn't a black Saturday. i was working for fuller so what was but, that about uh, yeah like mid 84 i think yeah uh but it was bob armstrong he said bob armstrong said you could do anything so can you be a, a, a heel tag team with the bleach blonde hair? So I want to get away from the road wars and do just the opposite. Can you give me the old blonde haired chicken shit? I sure, I sure as hell can. And I can do it real well too. <laughs> <laughs>